everyone, I'm Kelly from Tap House Media and I'm coming at you with your weekly WordPress wisdom. So today we're going to be talking about some pretty basic stuff. What is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? So WordPress.org, or also known as self-hosted WordPress, has a lot of benefits. This is actually the platform that Tap House Media chooses to design in. It's open source and 100% free for anyone to use. With WordPress.org, you have full control over your website and customizations. You're free to do anything you want with this platform. With WordPress.org, you can add free, paid, and custom WordPress plugins and apps to your website, and you can also use powerful tools like Google Analytics for tracking. With WordPress.org, you can also create an online store to sell digital and physical products and accept payments and deliver and ship goods directly from your website. With WordPress.org, there are a few cons. We don't really see them as cons, but some people would. You're going to need to invest in a website hosting. So this is where your website files are stored on the internet. So on a shared server space, this can run you about $100 to $200 a year. And obviously, as your website grows, your fees are going to increase as well. With WordPress.org, you're going to be responsible for all of your own updates. WordPress actually updates its framework and its core structure pretty often, so you're going to have to keep up on that. I mean, you're also going to be responsible for backups and restores if something were to go wrong. A couple other factors to consider with WordPress.org is that you're going to have to, to factor in the design cost, theme cost, plugin cost, and also maintenance. Um, like I said, WordPress.org makes updates fairly often, meaning you're going to have to keep up with those updates to make sure your site is safe and secure from malware and attacks. But using WordPress.org is our number one recommendation for a growing business or brand. The real cost truly depends on the type of site you're building, whether it be a simple blog, membership, or e-commerce. So heading over to WordPress.com, their benefits tend to be um, more on the side of for a hobby and an affiliate blogger. So you're going to have about three gigabytes of free space when you sign up. And after that, you're going to have to switch to a paid plan with very reasonable pricing. Um, with WordPress.com, you don't have to worry about updates at all. WordPress.com actually takes care of that for you, which is a big score for people. The cons here are pretty significant in my opinion. They come with some pretty big limitations on this platform. Um, one being that there are lots of ads that are going to be shown on your blog. So ads are placed on all of the free websites so your users will see ads and you don't make money from it. So if you don't want to see those ads, you're going to have to um, upgrade your plan to a paid plan. With WordPress.com, you cannot upload custom themes. And you must choose from a selection of approved plugins only. No custom plugins available on WordPress.com. And you're not able to use WordPress.com as a membership site or an e-commerce site. And you're not going to be able to install tracking devices like Google Analytics, unfortunately. So the bottom line here with WordPress.com and WordPress.org, if you're stuck trying to figure out which platform to choose, you're gonna to have to figure out your goals. Figure out those goals for your website. Are you looking to grow a business and make money? If that's a strong yes, then WordPress.org is definitely the way to go. Are you blogging for fun and keeping your options open at the moment? Go with WordPress.com. This will give you the perfect jumping off point. In this case, switching to a self-hosted plan after that is no big deal. You wanna grow? Easy. Grow the website and upgrade for more freedom when you're ready. For more WordPress tips and trends, follow us at taphousemedia.com slash blog and follow us on our social media accounts.